The bad news is that time flies. But the good news is that you are the pilot. That is a quote by Michael Altshuler and it formed the basis of today's video. I'm going to share with you three simple habits that you can adopt that will create massive time for you. I think two hours per day that can add up to 10 hours a week and throughout the year those are 10 times 250 working days. I'm giving you the weekends off, right? That's about 500 hours which you divide by 24 it is 20 full days in a year 20 24 hour days you can imagine if you create that for yourself what will it mean for you your productivity your work and you achieving your goals or progressing forward so without further ado let's get started habit number one create a morning or evening routine and it is this simple for example if you normally wake up at 6 a.m in the morning i want to put it to you why not wake up at least 10 minutes early every day and then within those 10 minutes decide on what you would want to do that will help you progress forward maybe you have been saying i don't have time to read a book i don't have time to take up a new course or do this project or the other just say, let me take 10 minutes in the morning to put myself in the right order, to plan my day, to probably just read a book for 10 minutes, then let the rest of the day be as it normally is. And then at the end of the day, set aside another 10 minutes. You might go to sleep at 10, just go to sleep at 10, 10. Create another 10 minutes for your own personal development, for your own things. I can tell you at the end of the day, it's only 20 minutes at the end of the week Monday through to Friday that is about 100 minutes yeah one and a half hours and if you can do times 250 working days you can see how much time you will create for yourself just even exercising say I don't have time to go to the gym but I'll wake up 10 minutes early I'll do just some simple exercise at home I'll skip the rope I'll do some press-ups push-ups and you're good to go but if you're consistent you can create a habit that will change your life your health your reading habits and all that habit number two and this is a big one i think this is where i have been able to leverage most of my time and that is commuting time on average here in nairobi people spend about two hours in traffic one hour to work in the morning and another hour back home and depending with where you live and where you work I know some people spend more than an hour in traffic and some people might take even less time or they just walk to work it's a short commute but if you are more deliberate how you spend your commute time it can really revolutionize and change you totally now let us work with the average of two hours if you take two hours per day in a week that is 10 hours as we started i did the math times 250 working days 500 hours 20 days and this is a time that you can use number one to read a good book decide that i will pursue a certain skill read a book do an online course this is a good time for you to actually instead of wasting it on social media and other things that are just entertainment or time wasters be deliberate go online and learn a specific skill if you are the one driving so you can't really do all this I would suggest to you like I do listen to a podcast a beneficial podcast that is helping you acquire specific skill or knowledge listen to audiobooks audiobooks have been revolutionary for me I realized I'm more of an auditory uh, person I learn more when I listen to the audiobook rather than reading the physical books but I still create time for that so you see you just need to be more deliberate and when you create this as a habit for you to be enriching yourself, for you to be tackling something that is of value to you, rather than letting that time just whiz by, pass by, and at the end of the year you're like, whew, I've been in traffic for a very long time and I don't know what I have been doing. I remember being invited to speak at a certain event and I was talking about time management and I gave the same, same ideas. Then a certain gentleman came to me after the event and told me that initially, used to 
live along Thika Road. Now that is Nairobi, Kenya. Yeah, along Thika Road. Way before it was constructed to be a super highway. And he was working in Parklands. And he realized that he was spending almost two, three hours on traffic coming to work and going back. He did his maths. I don't know how he did it, but he told me he realized by if he was to stay there and continue working here, by the time he was returning, he would have spent 12 years on traffic. And so he decided, I need to move. He moved towards Waiyakiwe and he just used to spend about 20 minutes to work and from work. In that case, he has been able to create more time and he can use that time he has created to do something beneficial. Instead of wasting 12 years on traffic, maybe he's now in the office, he's now at home early and he can do something. But if you don't have any way to spend that time better, even when you're still in traffic, you can be able to think about what is something that I can do. I've already given you some ideas, do an online course, read a book, all those things. And habit number three, try to create some time before work or after work that you can dedicate for your own personal development, for your own personal project. You have been saying that I will write this book, but I don't have time to write this book. I want to put it to you. Why don't you stay a little bit longer after work? Yeah, work ends at five. Instead of leaving exactly at five, say I'll stay from five to 5.30. And in that period, I will use it for my own projects. There's this book I've been saying I'll write, I'll do it. There's this project that I've said I'll start started during that time there is this online business i've been thinking about setting up can i learn a little bit more about it even in the morning come in a little bit earlier 30 minutes early and then say i will use this time for my own personal development and growth by the way the reason why we have sometimes too much traffic jam is that it gets to exactly five and everybody leaves the office you go meet on the roads in the streets and you meet in traffic yeah i want to put it to you by the way as an idea if you stay a little bit longer and leave a little bit later you realize that most of the time that is when we don't have traffic personally i try to leave the office at around six and five to six is my own personal time for my own things and i realized at 6 p.m there is less traffic and like if i left at exactly 5 p.m but it is not always it depends if i have an appointment or if there's something else i'm doing but on a normal good day i will leave at 6 p.m and i'm not asking you to leave at 6 p.m it is up to you but i'm just suggesting create a little bit more time after work and you can see the difference you can do if you are consistent every day monday through to friday 30 minutes extra to tackle that project that you have been saying you'll be doing you have been procrastinating on it I don't have the time to do it. Probably this is the time for you to do it. If you are a leader and you really want to up your leadership game, I want to invite you to join the Leaders On Point membership. This is a great membership for anyone who would like to increase their leadership capabilities. You will get lots and lots of courses that you can be able to take, like how to be an effective leader, how to lead with emotional intelligence, how to deal with conflict, resolve conflict in the workplace, and so many other courses. Probably the time that you are stuck on traffic or the time that you get up a little bit earlier is when you will use just to read either a unit or watch a video on a specific course or when you leave work a little bit later this might be the time for you to cover these courses and actually future proof your career in this age of ai again i want to invite you head over to leadersonpoint.com so that you can be able to get to see what we have to offer also take a look at this video on the four productivity tips make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel and until my next video um out